Hey guys, welcome to the React front to back course. In this course, you're going to learn all about the React JavaScript library slash framework, along with the new context API, the Redux state management system, Firebase and more. So we'll start off just learning the basics and fundamentals, and then we'll move up to building a production like application using Firebase. Now, the way I designed this course is for both beginners and intermediates. If you already know the fundamentals of JavaScript and React is what you've decided to learn next, which I would definitely suggest, then this is the next step. Now, even though this course is suitable for beginners, it doesn't mean that it's just the, the core basics. We're going to dive deep into React's new context API. We're going to look at providers and consumers in a real project. We're also going to learn all about re the Redux state manager. And then in the final project, we'll build and deploy a client panel application using React, Redux and Firebase. So this is a mix of learning sections as well as project building. And even if you're familiar with React, I think you'll still learn a bunch and you'll have fun doing it. So as far as what you do need to know, you should definitely know HTML and a basic understanding of CSS. CSS isn't that important because we will be using Bootstrap as our front end UI to kind of make things look decent. You should definitely know your JavaScript fundamentals. Uh, we will have three videos of ES6 refreshers to look at things like arrow functions, classes, destructuring and so on. You should have basic programming principles uh, like variables, loops, functions and all that good stuff. And like I said, we will be using Bootstrap 4. So if you have experience with Bootstrap classes and so on, that will help you. But it's definitely not required. And as far as what you learn, I'd say you're going to learn pretty much everything there is to know about React. Uh, I also plan on adding some bonus projects later on, including some lectures and a project in Gatsby, which is a static site generator that uses React. We might also do some stuff with Next.js, uh, but this is the gist of what we'll be learning so far. And I'm not going to go through and read everything, but you can see uh, what's included. All right. So even with the learning sections, I didn't want to just build some sandbox app. I wanted to create something that was functional and useful. So we'll be putting together a contact manager application with full create, read, update and delete functionality using the context API. And then once that's done, we're going to rebuild the same project using Redux. So we'll essentially end up with two versions of the project and you can kind of contrast and compare the context API versus Redux for state management. We'll also be using the JSON placeholder mock rest API for HTTP requests. All right. After we learn all the fundamentals, we're going to build a more production like project called the client panel, which is an app that a business would use for managing their customers. We'll be using Firebase as a back end. It will include full authentication, a settings page uh, to enable registration. It will include route protection and all of those things that you need to know to create real React applications. All right. So in the next video, we're going to do a quick overview of the projects and talk a little bit more about what you'll be learning. So I will see you then.